Region Golf has developed into one of the finest destinations in Ontario. And one look at the new Eagles Nest Golf Club will tell you why. It all begins when you arrive. The clubhouse is magnificently designed, open, spacious, inviting, perfectly situated overlooking the 18th green. Eagle's Nest is a great place for a variety of culinary experiences and I imagine an event here in the vast clubhouse would be a perfect choice for any function. But the main course here lies right outside the window. Doug Carrick has emerged as one of the top designers in the world and what he has done with this former sand pit is simply amazing. Doug Carrick is fantastic with, uh, with taking what uh, the canvas gives him and creating something special. Um, he, had, uh, he had all the tools he needed to, uh, to move some earth and uh, create this masterpiece that we have here. So Jamie, give me a little bit of the scoop here. What was here before the golf course? This was a uh, former sand and gravel pit um, that was... Uh, was turned into a golf course between 2001 and 2003 and uh, we opened uh, spring of 2004. What great vision to look out at a pit and say wait I'm gonna put the 16th hole right there. Yeah no it was uh, Doug Carrick had a blank canvas and he certainly created a, a masterpiece on the 235 acres uh, we have here. This course has plenty of character. It looks and feels secluded. A link style course with tall grass, fescue, and plenty of bunkers. But Eagle's Nest also has some unique elevation, a rare combination in the world of international golf. Okay, check this out. This is the eighth hole, this is the tee box up back behind the eighth hole. That was once a ski slope right there. And right across the way is the beautiful city of Toronto. It's a calm day here today, but usually the wind blows pretty, uh, pretty well. And as you can see from the elevation that we're at here, we're at one of the highest points in the GTA. And uh, those bunkers are reminiscent of the old sod walls that are, are built on, uh, on the east side of the Atlantic, where uh, you need to take cover when the wind blows hard, and you've got to hit all sorts of different shots out here. And he's, uh, he's created something where you've got to play pure golf and all sorts of different shots. See a ball anywhere? <laughs> Like most of our golf trips, we like to have fun. And in Ontario, they make it so easy to relax. People are laid back. No rush, just a steady dose of golf. But wind up in one of the many bunkers here at Eagle's Nest. Well, that'll get your heart pumping. Now we're getting up there. Have we reached the highest point? We have, we have. We've reached, uh, we're at the uh, par 4 12th hole here at Eagle's Nest, 434, one of my most one of my favorite tee shots here at Eagle's Nest. Now what's the line out there? You want to carry that bunker? That is the line. That is the line. You definitely want to carry the bunker. A little left of the bunker is just perfect. I love how pros say that. Just carry the bunker. <laughs> Fire away, my friend. Let's see it. And you just have fun out here, don't you? <laughs> we do. We do. That's what we do. We come to work every day and uh, make sure all our guests enjoy themselves and uh, steal away from their day-to-day -day lives and experience what uh, Doug created. A little bit of that great Canadian hospitality. Absolutely. <laughs> it's about as tough as it gets from here. At about 50 yards to this green, got to carry two sod walls. Oh yeah, there's one more bunker over there too. Mm-hmm. Let's see it, Sunshine. <laughs> okay. There you go. Look at that one. Shot. Come on, baby. You're good. It is a long way down there, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, not quite. Another turn or two. Tappings are always good, though. There is plenty of real estate to cover. But Eagle's Nest boasts five sets of tee boxes. So, whether it's friends, family, or local bragging rights, one can choose their distance. 
we're secluded, we can still sort of look uh, look downtown and see uh, see what we're missing or what we're escaping from while we're up here, and uh, and to be able to enjoy the relative solitude of uh, this this 235 acres that we're we're standing on right now. Ah, yes. The 18th at Eagle's Nest is one of the great closing holes in the province. And on this autumn day, it never looks so good. The elevated tee box looks down a narrow valley below, with water running down the entire right side. The hole has a name, and it's simply called Home. Of course, you have to walk a little further to your ball than I do. <laughs> Although I lost a few balls along the way, strolling down the 18th, it's hard not to think about how lucky we are to experience Eagle's Nest and how the cold Canadian beer will taste at the end of this day. Oh, turn for me, baby, turn for me. Get the little ones to fall. Jamie, thank you so very much. Dennis, thank you very much. It was a great afternoon. Just a beautiful office you have here, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. Can't complain. I hear they have cold beer at Jimmy Gary's. They certainly do. Well, I know I owe you a couple. Let's do it. <laughs> Toronto golf. Not too shabby. Again, there is nothing ordinary about the clubhouse. They are very proud of the wine here in Ontario, and we sample that in some extraordinary local fare. All part of the ambiance here. Quality, service, a very relaxed environment. I like to think they're nice and relaxed and have a good time. That's certainly the atmosphere that we try to keep here. And uh, um, we're glad that uh, our guests enjoy our hospitality. To have a world-class golf facility like this so close to the heart of the city is, uh, is fantastic, not only for our guests, but uh, everybody else that uh, does business here at Eagles Nest Golf Club.